to your show, Ross. Bring oh, it hey. <laughs> hey, guys. Uh, I just wanted to say thank you for a year of Steam Train. Uh, me and Dan have loved it. Uh, Aaron's what, been there, I, too. I didn't like it? That, <laughs> Aaron's been there, it? too. A lot. <laughs> cool. Anyway, um, so basically, I just want to say thanks. Uh, also, hey, whoa, this is a super episode of King's Quest VI with myself and Dan. Yes. Uh, we, we stitched together a bunch of the first episodes into one super episode because, as it turns out, the beginning of the game is pretty chatty. Yeah. And we didn't want to miss out on plot, so we were just like, let's put it all in one big-ass episode and uh, make it part of our one-year anniversary celebration because uh, we, Ross and I have been on the channel for a year. It's been fucking super awesome, and we love, we love doing this every day. Thanks, Aaron. That's my hat. Oh, also, there's a new intro. All oh right. my god. <laughs> They're gonna play the intro when I do that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. sure. I bet they will. I bet that's... Who's they? Do you think Barry's still running on this? I bet he didn't even cut it. <laughs> they. Is god. it Barry? Damn it, Barry. Nits to you. We have to be done now. He bought too many games. Now we gotta play them all. It's all about the Steam Train. Choo -choo. Hey, welcome to Steam Train. Yay! We're finally playing another Sierra game. I'm excited. I know. I'm too. I'm welcome so to King's Quest Six. This, this pick, is uh, the this sequel. Pick, yes. Uh, this is the played. fifth sequel of King's Quest. Here, there's an opening. Let's watch it. <laughs> See what the volume's like. Long ago. In a castle in the kingdom called Daventry. Yeah, turn it up a little bit more. Let's crank this bitch. I don't want to crank this it too loud. Crank it. I guess he's asleep. Ah! Oh! <laughs> oh, it's 3D graphics! You know it. God, uh, this game. How? When did this game come out? 1992, Alexander, I believe. So when are. we invented 3D hey, graphics? You're still Pretty much. Not thinking about Cosima, are you? Mm hmm? I suppose I am. <laughs> His mouth is Sam, funny. It's been months. You've got She's got to a. Put she together. looks. You know what she kind of looks all, like. You, you are killing the plot. Sorry. No, it's okay. She looks Have like a plunger. <laughs> she, does, she, does. she does. A plunger on a no. log with an arm. No one's Not even her. heard of it. It's like she's just vanished. I wish I could help. Please try to think about something else, dear. I'll try, mother. <sighs> so, do you remember in King's Quest V the the slave girl? Yeah. That um, uh, King Graham helped like. She was like yeah, the skull. Yeah. Yes. That's the girl that Alexander fell in love with. So Alright. <laughs> so, yeah, so now um now he's dreaming of her all the time and he can't do anything with his life. Oh, these graphics God. are too amazing. It's like Beast Wars. <laughs> but like not as good. 1990 goddamn too. Oh, he's still sitting in the same spot. So he's completely like just L obsessed he's, with He's her. just lovesick. But wait! Oh shit! What is this upon the mirror? The pre precursor to Facebook? What is this? What are you talking about? looking her up. Oh, yeah. What is her relationship status? I'll ask. <laughs> I'll ask. That's the douchiest mirror, thing you can mirror do Mirror, mirror on the wall. Has she dumped that guy at all? Oh, nice. That's her. She's oh, there. shit. Yes! Alexander. <laughs> I feel so alone. I don't know what to do. She loves Alexander, him, too. In a far-off land. Wish you were here. Oh, shit. Yeah. Kasima, wait. Mother. Mother, come quick! God damn it! Alexander, what on earth? You're white as a ghost! Uh, Mother, I've always <laughs> been white. She was in the mirror. <laughs> yes. Maybe you should have married a more tan yes. man, yeah. bitch! Her, his mom's like, I'm over here, Alexander. <laughs> He's doing that stare. He's like not looking at the person when they're talking to them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Your favorite thing to do. Just if you ever talk to someone, don't look them in the eye. Just look to the right of their head. It will really upset them. All right. So he he basically just told his mom like, I love this girl. I need to find her. Like I need to dedicate my life to really? finding her. Yep. So he went out to sea for three months. Three months. She lives in the Green Isles, man. That's far as fuck. That's like fucking. That's like where Daenerys is compared to like I don't know like Ned Stark in the ground. <laughs> 
<laughs> you shut up about <laughs> Game of Thrones. Oh, wow, look. It's like one of those, like, stiff uh, plastic seagulls that you throw. Like a balsa wood glider. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they don't flap a lot, these seagulls. Yeah, these these seagulls, they've, they've, uh... They are gliders. They're incredibly aerodynamic. They're, like, test. Yeah. Even the seagulls in... Oh, hey, Susie. Oh, hey, Susie. What's up? Have <laughs> what? you started? Yeah, yeah we're, we're, recording. we're recording. Oh, hey. Um, we're going down to the store to get some ice cream from Diva. Just want to let you guys know. Thank you. Sure. I'm, I'm okay. Can I have some? It'll melt. How long will it melt? Guys, guys. I mean, they close at, at like 9 and it's like 8.30 right now, so we're just gonna run down and get some ice cream. Wow. Because, by the way, guys, like, Godiva just started selling ice cream. Godiva ice cream. Oh, my fucking Okay, uh, Barry, put up right. the Godiva logo right now. No, don't and put- And waffle it. cones, like, dipped in Godiva chocolate. Holy uh. shit, we have to go- we have to go try it right now. Thank right. you, Susie. Godiva's yeah, not paying uh, us. Alright, go, go, go <laughs> have fun. Get go out of here. Right. Go have fun, right. you crazy right. kids. Guys, people. You guys Thank you. Thank you. It was amazingly fortunate that yeah. she came in and gave us that information during like a 12 minute sailing scene with no- <laughs> While the Godiva no, logo no was directly there. I hope Barry didn't put that in. Make oh wait! Bigger. Oh no, I thought we were coming to land, it was just the bow wow. of the boat. They uh- God, this is like worse than a Wind Waker sailing scene. Yep! Ugh. So, what have you been up to lately, Dan? How you been? <laughs> <laughs> how, 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 how's his life been? Oh, you know, stuff. Yeah, stuff. Yeah, had some lucky charms for the first time in a while. Really? Yeah, they are. You know, are, I've never had them. They are violently not food. Yeah. Yeah, it's uh... What do you think they're made of? I don't know. Poop. Because that's what happens. Leprechaun poop. Land ho! Oh, hey, hey, oh, hey! hey. <laughs> Land ho! Hello, jaunty pirates! That is a very phallic looking telescope. <laughs> or periscope. I don't know which one it would be. Hours pass. It looked like HR's pass. Too too far distance. Okay, so we're on our like <laughs> uh, low poly boat heading to the three lumps. We'll we'll make this an extra long episode because this is pretty plot heavy. Yeah, pretty. Uh, I don't know. Is this? Would you call this plot heavy? Not a lot's been said since we've been I on mean, this, this boat. Is, it's pretty, yeah, it's pretty sailing heavy. Pretty silently sailing heavy. Sail away, but it, at the sail time, away, again, I know we said this a lot in King's yeah. Quest V. In, in 1992, these were pretty amazing graphics. This hadn't been- oh, day turns to night, the sea turns violent. Oh! Oh no! Our jaunty trip is becoming- oh fuck. Oh damn! Oh shit! This is like that bit from that m movie, the- 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 uh. Very good, Ross. The- the Frozen bit, where the kid- the- ah! You know what I'm talking about. You mean Frozen? Yeah, that's the one. <laughs> God, you're nailing it. Oh no! Oh god, the water looks like it's made out of liquid Terminator. Yeah. Get out of there. And it swallowed our ship. <laughs> <laughs> and our oh, computer. Man. Yeah. And the composer goes crazy on the Casio keyboard. Is this to... Is it holding a dramatic pause to show them that they might have died? I believe this is just a loading screen. Oh. Yeah. King's Quest! That's us! Okay, we're playing it. Oh, sweet. Oh, Roberto Williams. Jane, Jane Jensen. Jensen. That sounds like a porn star name, but I'm sure you don't do porn I think she's anymore. in this game. <laughs> I think she's in this game, Skirvin. Let's see if we can skip this. Oh, we can! Okay. Do you know what I found out? I guess it was 93. Did I, I don't think I've ever said this on, uh, like, was, she, was she a voice actor or producer? Jane Jensen? Was she, why did I miss, was it say producer? I believe- Oh, Sierra! I Yay! love Sierra! Uh, fucking, um, I found out that yeah. my wife Holly's- Yes. Grandfather's ex-wife was the voice of uh, the princess in uh, uh, fucking Dragon's Quest. Get out of yeah, here! Yeah. What? Yeah. That's awesome. Isn't that crazy? All right, now we're playing. Oh. Okay. Oh, so we shipwrecked. Okay. It's time to play the game. Okay. Hey. So we are Alexander. We are now the son of King Graham. This is after the events of King's Quest V. There's a lot of uh, looking and talking in this game. So let's look. Alexander searches for a way to reach the black-haired girl whose memory will not escape him. All's well as being dressed like a clown. Seems that way. Mm. I just saw a little twinkly thing here, so let's take oh. a look at that. Alexander's royal insignia ring lies abandoned on the sand. It must have slipped from his finger during the shipwreck. Fortunately, it was not lost in the sea. Boom. That's what you need. Let's Can pick that the fuck up. Can you lick shit? Uh, not in this game. <laughs> what? This is not- this is not King's Quest or I mean- oh, sorry. This is not, uh, Leisure Suit Larry. Or Space But you Quest. can lick stuff in other things! Okay, hang on, hang on. <laughs> oh. 
Alexander picks up his royal insignia ring from the beach. I love this guy's voice. Yeah, it's the same narrator, right? Alexander something something. I love it. Let's touch the plank. Oh, rub that up and go. Oh shit, Alexander what's under there? pushes the plank to one side. A box has been partially buried under sand. I like that after he... Yay! I like that after he, like, moves the thing, he just stands there like, Yay! Yay! <laughs> I did it! <laughs> he doesn't even react. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, shiny. What is this? Is gold? I think so. Alexander takes the coin and leaves the ruined box oh, where it is. Money. Yes. Okay, that's Treasure good. Suitcase. That's good. Let's take, make a run. Let's take a look at the land. Alexander oh. is standing on a beach littered with debris from his shipwreck. A path leads north into the lush green island. Did everyone An else occasional die? breeze rustles the nearby foliage. Oh. Yeah, our buddies are dead. Everyone? I think so, yeah. How many buddies did we have? We had that we had like three. We had like three jaunty pirates with and us. And a telescope. Yeah. <laughs> the telescope died. R.I.P. telescope. Although Alexander, I gotta say, like his clothes are perfect, his hair is perfect. Yeah. Things really turned out well for him. Royalty is buoyant. It's true. Ooh. Okay. This I like the look of that town on the left. A hollow in the trunk of the old tree forms a perfect nesting place for wildlife. Ah, uh, uh, probably like a magical squirrel or bird, right? That's to the left, yes. an owl maybe. Seems to invite the weary traveler. Okay, so we got a town on the left, and a castle. In the distance, a majestic castle shines in the sun. Let's go check out the castle. I say castle. She's yeah. probably she's probably in the castle. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> she's just there and the game ends. Yeah. <laughs> Thank Credits you for, roll. Thank you for playing King's Quest VI. The rest of it becomes like one of those like hentai like sims where you like have to undress her and like... Yeah. That's like, what, touch that, bits. That's a touch bits. Not that I know what that's like. Right. Oh. Touching bits. Look at these, look at these doggy guards. Doggy guards? They're just guys Two with helmets. guards take their stance in front of the castle oh, doors. Oh no wait, they are dogs. They look quite fierce and have the stiff, blank expression of soldiers on formal duty. Yo, you got your pass <laughs> to the furry convention? Great, let's annoy them! <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> they look stern. Let's talk! Alexander politely addresses the odd-looking guards at the castle doors, hoping to learn more about his predicament. Good day to you guards. <laughs> I was cast upon this island in a storm, and like I'm a little actor. confused about my location. Could you tell me what place this is and who lives in this castle? Hey, what is that you say? A castaway? A likely story. We haven't had any foreigners in this part since El Hazaret arrived. No, no, no. What? Ah, don't be so rude, Cuff. <laughs> He's not asking for any secrets. You're standing on the Isle of the Crown, lad, and this is the Castle of the Crown. Mm. A royal family resides here. Uh, rather, what's left of the royal family. The Isle of the Crown? But tell me, am I anywhere near the land of the Green Isles? Duh. This is the land of the Green Isles! Oh, fuck! Oh, the shit, Isle right of the here. Crown is the main island, foolish boy! You dumb shit! Then Princess Cosima must live in this very castle. Aye! The princess is indeed our treasure jewel to God. Nice. And we consider it an honor. She is up there. Well, now that we know that, let's get a frisbee and throw it so they run away. Yeah. Well, excuse me, guardsmen. <laughs> uh, uh, guard dogs. Nice. I've been traveling oh, for God. months to see Princess Cosima. I would like an audience, please. I'm sorry, but the princess is not receiving visitors, particularly not strangers. Okay, so what do well, we have uh, to do? Um... Well, what do we got? Give them a... We got, we got a coin and our ring. Oh, our ring will oh. show them that we're royalty. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, let's try that. Alexander decides to show his royal insignia ring to the Castle of the Crown Guards. With all of his papers lost in the shipwreck, it is the only possible calling card he can think of. I'll just eat it, and you'll have Good to day. wait for it to come out. I'm booth. Prince Alexander of Daventry. I'm an acquaintance of Princess Cosima. If you could just inform her that I'm here, please. Yeah, so everyone says. Let me just look at that ring. What does it say, Gruff? <laughs> <laughs> His name's Gruff. Kingdom of Daventry, Prince Alexander. <laughs> Wait here while I go see what Captain Saladin thinks of this. 
Oh, Captain Saladin. I remember him. Who's from Captain Saladin? Kid. He's a fucking, he's the badass, awesome lead dog. Lead dog? Is he a German Shepherd? No, he's like, I think he's a collie. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Quickly, there's three Clark clowns trapped down a well. Later, with a majestic looking creature. <laughs> Captain Saladin speaks with a voice that is gentle, but reflects a will of iron. Morph? <laughs> Bork! Prince Alexander of Daventry, I presume. <laughs> I'm afraid I'm unfamiliar he looks like with an your country, but I'm sure it. Wazir Al Hazred will want to meet you, if indeed you are a friend of the princess. Please follow me. Okay. Walk this way. And so you, and you're following like a dog. <laughs> what freakish experiments are they doing here to have dog people? No, they're just—it's oh. fantasy world. They, yeah, oh wait, Al Hazred, this is a visitor to see you. Shit. Prince Alexander of Daventry. What is it that you seek, Prince Alexander? Count Dracula. Pardon the intrusion, my lord, but I came to see Princess Cosima. Some months ago, my father, King Graham, saved my family and I from imprisonment under an evil wizard named Mordak. Remember that? Yeah, I remember that the happening. The same wizard that kidnapped the princess? Exactly. Do you have any hair when oil? my father rescued us, <laughs> He also liberated Cosima and sent her home. Then your father has my gratitude, and that of the entire kingdom. But I'm afraid I still fail to see the purpose of your visit. The dog's kind of holding that sword kind of threateningly. <clears throat> yeah. He's... Well... I want to fuck the I princess. I came to make sure <laughs> that Cosima arrived safely and to pay my respects. Before we parted, she gave me an invitation to visit. I want to pay penis respect. She gave no me a piece she of paper exactly that says that room time, 203. Yeah. Alexander. Let's fuck. However, <laughs> things have greatly changed for Cosima since her ordeal in Mordak's castle. Cosima's parents both became ill and died while she was gone. Oh. Cosima is sequestered in mourning for them as befits a princess. She is not receiving visitors of any kind. Oh, no. Even if she so were, the guy who looks like I do not Dracula. think your yeah. visit would be appropriate. He's a fun guy you in see, the back. it Hang is time for Cosima to take her responsibilities seriously. With her parents gone, she no longer has the luxury to be a carefree maiden. This guy sucks. As yeah, was I her mean, parents' wish, it's kinda Cosima obvious. and I are to be wed. We shall rule the kingdom together. Oh, he's oh, gonna marry oh, you. Oh, oh. Our marriage is all Cosima wants now. As a prince and a gentleman, it would be best that you leave before there is any further embarrassment. I see. I suppose that I was mistaken. I thought she was certain the that Cosima... Well, I apologize. A young man sees what he wishes to see. I'm sorry you've wasted your time traveling to the land of the Green Isles. <sighs> May oh your journey God. home be yeah, snaky, it. dude. Swished. Perhaps I will take the opportunity to look around your fair the land while I'm here. Like turban things, just looking back I and forth. He's like just like hanging out. It's like a tennis the match. The kingdom yeah. is rather, shall we say, inhospitable these days. But it is your neck. You may risk it if you please. God damn! You just said like, well, we'll Captain kill you if Saladin you stay here. Are you serious? You I mean, from basically. The castle. Fucking dick. Good day. Oh, we put the sword away. Yeah, well, thank you. I feel very non-threatened. That was a fun audience with the queen. Yeah, being surrounded by a dog, a topless guy, and... You have had really... your hearing with Wazir al-Hazred. I trust you'll respect his wishes and not return. Okay. I have been instructed not to let you into the castle again. Good day, my lord. I'm a good boy. <laughs> Captain Saladin whispers something to the guard dogs at the castle gate, and they nod with understanding. Frisbee at three. <laughs> Frisbee. Kibble, kibble. <laughs> All right. Alexander has a feeling they won't be letting him into the castle again. Dang it. Gosh darn. All right. Well, let's see what we can say. Let's run with our tail between our legs. Let's get out of here. Ooh. No. I think we found something. The side of the castle is one big blank wall. Well, all right then. All right then. We will not go here then. Let's go to the town. Let's go to the town. But you know what? Mm-hmm. Why don't we, we go to the town next time on Steam Train? That sounds like a good idea, Dan. I really like this idea. I like this idea, too. I think that the general public likes this idea. If you like this idea, 
Rate, comment, and subscribe. Goodbye. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> hey! Welcome back to Steam Train. Welcome back All to right. that show. Yeah, we are in King's Quest Six. We just checked out the castle, and now we'll check out the town. See what's up. Hopefully we won't get shanked. There's a pawn porn shop! That is a pawn shop. A prawn shop? Hold on, let's... The sign above the door says, Ali's Books. Okay. Ali's Books, you can't have them, they're mine. Alright. <laughs> Look at that guy selling Pikmin. Yeah, uh, I think I just missed something he said. Whatever. Let's go check out the bookstore first. We'll get back to him. Okay. I love the sound of opening doors in this game, by the yeah, way. Yeah, let's, let's hear it. Let's hear it. Yay. Hello. Uh, I will be right up. What the fuck? Steve Jobs, what are you doing here? He's now, what can I do for you? I'd like a turtleneck. Cut that who's, fucking goatee. Who's that fucking badass know. wizard yeah, who, who looking at? Who is the Grim Reaper? Is that the Grim the Reaper? The man occasionally steals sidelong glances at Alexander from under a concealing hood. Shit, it's probably someone important. Yeah. Is it your dad? Is it your... <laughs> is it your dad? Yeah. Is it Darth Vader? The bookshop owner is a thin, middle-aged man. His intelligent eyes are slightly blurry from long nights spent reading by candlelight. Ah, oh, mm. let's talk to his ass. Let's talk to him. Here we go. Good day, sir. I'm a stranger in this land. What can you tell me about the land of the Green Isles? That is quite a question, young man. Who are you? And what would you have me tell you? And you got that business! <laughs> My name is Alexander. I know I'm on the Isle of the Crown, but I'd like to know whatever you can tell me about this island and if there are other islands nearby. Why do I talk You like are this? indeed a stranger. Anxious is the man who knows not the customs of the land beneath his feet. What? This oh. island is called the Isle of the Crown because the royal family's castle is here. Besides the castle, we also have this village and the docks over to the west. And my there house. Are at least <laughs> Come three over. Other and my books. You can't the have them. The Isle of the Sacred <laughs> Mountain, the Isle of the Beast, and the Isle of Wonder. Oh, yeah, we'll go all those places. At least three? Does no one know for certain? <laughs> Shut up. This is no ordinary land, Alexander. The land of the Green Isles has always been a place of vague boundaries, as if islands come and go. Come Legend like speaks of a fourth yes. island, an isle shrouded in mists. I myself have never seen it. They call it Fart then Island. <laughs> the land of the Green Isles is said to exist on the boundaries of this world and the next. Even darker places are reputed to be closer here Fart than anywhere <laughs> else in the world. That's quite a claim. <laughs> claim, <laughs> yes. <laughs> But probably just local superstition. We who live oh. here on the Isle of the you know Crown, what? at least. I think I know who I think this guy looks like night. now. Who's that? He looks like a young Michael Those Keaton. First three islands <laughs> you Doesn't he a little How bit? I learn there? more about them. Ideally, a young man. <laughs> Barry, put, put up that picture of Michael Keaton. Picture of Michael Keaton. Michael Keaton. Yeah. yeah. I was like, he time. looks like the guy in Multiplicity. Meeting oh, Michael Keaton. This place would be helpful, naturally. Unfortunately, the ferry no longer runs between the islands. There has been much political unrest, and it has been too dangerous to travel for years. Hmm. Perhaps the ferryman can tell you more. He has little enough to do these days. Pulling all those teeth. And yeah, if you haven't a been there already, a fairy. Hmm? you fairy. might seek an audience at the castle. What? <laughs> Thank you kindly, merchant. For all your good advice. Let me give ah, you... Ah, but advice is free, uh, Alexander. Hunch. Making use of it costs much more. So true. Okay. Let's go. All right, so we know there's a ferryman. Let's see what this book is about, because it is suspiciously right there. Oh, is that a book? It looks like a typewriter to me. Alexander rests his feet for a moment. Alexander picks up and leaps idly through a book called The Changing Role of Court Entertainers Through the Ages. Well, that was refreshing. Okay. All right. <laughs> Alexander farts into the chair. <laughs> oh, that was refreshing. <laughs> Alexander is a little like old for those children's books. 
You can't tell me what I can't read. Alexander is a little old for those children's books. Mm. Like Game of Thrones? Right. Alexander isn't interested in the cookbooks on that shelf. Mm. He's had an aversion to cooking ever since he experimented with a certain cookie recipe involving cat hair and fish oil. Uh. Uh. Let's try over here. Thinking of Cosima, Alexander decides to leaf through one of the volumes of love poetry. He reads, Thy hair, thy lips, thy beauteous face, and all thy studied female grace have won for thee anon a place within this broken breast. Oh, damn. Oh. Not bad. And another. <laughs> Upon the shore the lilies bend, untouched by worldly care, where shadow they her earthly bed, oh, that she were not there. Yikes. And another. <laughs> Damn. What was it when Jesus. I looked at you? What power has chained me through and through and binds my heart with links so tight I cannot live without the sight of you? What Stop nameless that, thing show me has captured me <laughs> and made me powerless to flee? What thing is it without a name that brings my mind? Oh my God! How many fucking poems enough. are there? Enough. Why? Its commonness does not Rub decry. Rub it Fuck in the tub. No. A little close to home, that one. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Alexander what? returns the love poem book to the shelf. My God. Oh shit! Oh, we learned what? What did we learn? How to love? No, no a page fell. Oh. Keep it. Alexander is not interested in those self-help. God damn it! Not that. You did it! Alexander picks up the fallen page. It's the love poem he particularly liked. It must have fallen out of the poetry book. Now make a paper airplane. I see that old volume has lost another page. You may keep it if you like, sir. I have glued the stubborn thing back in place two times already. I'll take the whole book! <laughs> I do rather like it. Thank you, merchant. Thank you. I'm out of toilet paper. <laughs> I look forward to rubbing this against my butt. Mm. I've been getting poop smear raw shacks for too long now. Oh. Uh. An old man occasionally steals. Huh. Did you mm. did you notice something about this guy's eye when he turned? He like it went twinkle, just like the fucking yeah. turban dude. <gasps> yeah. Do you think it's the turban dude out to kill you? I don't know. Let me talk to him. Maybe you pull it back. Good day, sir. The mysterious old man just ignores Alexander. Something, yeah. Super awkward. Something ain't right. Something ain't right with that dude. Yeah, that guy wants to murder you. He's like, Dark Brotherhood bullshit over here. Yeah. Alexander picks up the book from the small table. Oh, yes, please take that book. You have my most humble thanks for doing so good, sir. What? Really? Thanks. Hey, how do you stay in business? Yeah. Please, take the page. You know what? Take the whole <laughs> book. I hate books. Why do I do this? Yeah, it, it... Alexander is carrying a book from the bargain table in the bookshop. Okay, I guess there's All right. not more to it. Alexander. Oh, well, you know about the love poem. All right, let's get out of here. Let's skedat. Okay. Fuck this guy. That door now. looks like a chode penis. It, that's just an Arabian design. Oh. <gasps> what is going on? I love this music, by the mm. way. Makes me think of Ren Fair. There's a young girl mm -hmm. in the yard. The girl is dressed in a long, plain orange robe with a thick headdress. From the appearance of her clothes and from a skittish, fearful look about her, Alexander gets the strong impression that she is a servant, or even worse, a slave. Whoa. The serving girl appears to be stealing a quiet moment tending the rose bushes. Hey! <laughs> you tending those bushes? Oh, you enjoy a quiet moment? Get back to work and stay away from those roses! Uh. I've told you a million times, those flowers are too sweet for the likes of you! Damn. Oh, you shit. still got to do the breakfast dishes, make lunch, and clean the stables yet this morning! Get your veil back on! No one wants to look at your face! Yes, stepmother. Uh, <laughs> love you too, Ma! <laughs> what a biznatch! Oh my god. Yeah, that was sad. It doesn't look like she's a slave. 
But it looks like she's a slave. Yeah, seems like it. Alright, well, we'll worry about that later. Not much we can do now. Oh, it's a boat that's not on the water. There's the ferry. <gasps> is that a naked person? Hey, stranger, come join me. The water is wonderful, and I can show you the way to the next island. I don't think you should listen to him. He's probably a, a mer shark. Yeah, I don't, or a I don't know if I like this guy either. A young boy is happily swimming in the sea off the docks. What's your deal? Come on, jump in. A little water won't hurt you. I bet it will. Yeah, I don't oh, like totally this will. guy at all. Good day. I'm Alexander. What are you doing in the sea? What does it look like I'm doing? I'm swimming. I mean, come join me. The water's <laughs> wonderful. Yeah, I dude, just get naked. To the next island. Peel out of those itchy pants. Just get out of those pants, man. Just you know jump what? in the water. All right, we'll do it. Uh, but first, <gasps> yeah, it's your favorite. Time to save yes, the game. Yes, 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 yes. All right, all right. Is this me? Is yeah, this me? It's you. It's all me. <laughs> Welcome back. Welcome back. Yeah, Welcome yeah. back. It is really happening. 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 Okay. Let's save it. All right. Let's get in there. Considering the poor condition of the shore, it looks like the easiest way to get into the water is just to jump off the pier. Oh my god, I bet he's a shark. I bet he's a, he's a wizard. The powerful currents grab Alexander. Oh. What? Struggle as he might, he feels himself being pulled out to sea. But that guy's fine! What Wait. the- <laughs> Not a very good swimmer, are you? Oh. <laughs> Help me! Sorry, I think not. <laughs> what?! Fucking dick! What? As his head submerges for the third time, Alexander Why? finds himself pondering the wisdom of going out on a limb for a stranger. Oh. Damn. What? What? Next. Alexander couldn't handle those currents. That boy must be an unbelievably strong swimmer. Son of a bitch! Or a mermaid. Yeah. Merman. Merman! Man. Do, Restore. Yes. Do you like that cool like death mm -hmm. scene where you yeah. go into the gates of whatever of uh of death, hail death town? Oh what fuck! This. For? I said I'd show go you. Go fuck yourself. All right. Uh, next time on Steam Train, we'll continue this quest. Okay. That's oh. strange. The young boy in the water just disappeared. Oh well. Perhaps he just dove under the water. No, no, his ass disappeared. He's a shark man. That is bet. not correct. Okay. Welcome back Welcome to Steam Train. Back. We're having a nice, Steam peaceful Train. playthrough of King's Quest VI. And it's been quite enjoyable to be here again with you, Dan, playing Sierra games. It has been a long time. We I are do doing love it. it again. It has a peaceful pace for it sure. It does. Um, this is also early on, so. Oh. Yeah. What do you want? Is he a chef or a pirate? I can't tell. He's a fairy man. He's a shirate. But he does a. Sh <laughs> yes. He makes shards. A Shira promises himself that he will not go home until he has determined what Cosima's feelings are for him, and if she needs his help. Blah blah blah. Go away! The fairy's out of business. Oh, he's the fairy man. Yeah, that's How what come I he didn't have wings. He's not a fairy, Ross. He's a fairy, fairy, fairy man. Alexander feels his I'm pockets. Oh. That boat is oh. not. There we go. I said the ferry's out of business. What do you want? Eat dicks. <laughs> the rope is... Nope. Excuse me. There you go. My name is Alexander. The owner of the bookshop in the village told me you might be able to help me. I hear you used to run this ferry for the islands. I'd like to talk to you if you have a moment. You say old Ali sent you? I can't see why. The ferry's not running, you know. Very busy jerking off. I understand. <laughs> I'd just like to talk to you about the islands, if you don't mind. Well, I guess it'd be all right, if Ali sent you. Well, don't just stand there, come on inside. Guess it'd be okay to have a nice, hard-bodied young man I inside my- I thought he was naked. Yeah, his his pants are, like, totally <laughs> skin color. I don't like to wear pants <laughs> on the boat. I also never leave the boat. <laughs> Let's see what he's got to say. I'm a visitor to these islands. I'd like to learn what I can about the area. So you said outside. What is it you want to know? Well, for one thing, why has the island's only ferry been dry docked? Huh. You want to dock? <laughs> I'll dry dock, yeah. <laughs> and all. 
Wazir al Hazred ordered the ferry closed till things settled down. Me? I don't think she'll ever see water again. <sighs> but why are the islands feuding? You got me. Something about stolen property or some such thing. Tis a real shame. Things used to be so friendly. Then this unrest is recent. A few years is all, but it's been long enough. Perhaps if the ferry were repaired. This old thing? This ferry. It's funny when you just look at the characters so sitting there no and pretending they're talking instead of paying attention to little squares. She'd yeah. fall apart at the first taste of seawater. But there must be some way to get off this island. <laughs> oh my god. There's only one other he way to travel. He kind of looks like Hulk Hogan of. meets a chef Imagine and a pirate. That. He does. The owner of it also looks like he's wearing lipstick. Tell you more about that I'm gonna I cook you something and take you somewhere on a boat, brother. <laughs> All right, good enough for me. Yeah. The ferryman seems to be the only one. Oh. Tell me more about the blah 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 blah. blah, blah. Princess Casima, what do you do now? Me? Is there no other boat stone? <laughs> Tell me more of Ah, her mother would <sighs> oh, Are you trying to get something out of him that what you need? You... Let's see. Just trying to see what if like I keep talking island? to him, he'll give you something. What else? The inhabitants of the What else? The castle of Okay, blah blah blah. Blah 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 okay. blah. Maybe you can get into bed with him. Finally. Alexander. Our quest is over. <laughs> Besides, he finds the thought of the old sea salt's bed linens rather uninviting. Well, well, that's just that your makes personal one of preference. Let's see what this is. I mean, I see you have a rabbit's foot. Has it brought it you much me. luck? As you can see, my luck's been out for some time now, despite that old charm. Why don't you take it with you? Perhaps giving the darn thing away will bring me good fortune at last, <laughs> and bring terrible Absolutely. suffering to you. <laughs> All right, cool. I got a rabbit's foot. Yay! Let's get out of here. Are we building a rabbit? Well, I think I'll be going now. Thanks for allowing me into your home. Posh, not at all. It breaks the boredom. That's if a you know really what I awkward mean. long handshake. Yeah. <sighs> Just keep holding my hand for a while. Never. Oh, okay. I'll see you later. <laughs> Come back anytime. No? Okay. <laughs> all right. Boats don't go on ground, silly. They go in water. They... Should we go talk to the, the, the like, poor girl that's getting smacked across the ass no, by her she's mother? she's inside the house. Oh, no. Yeah, I can't do it right now. I want to see it. Hold on one sec. Let me check one more thing. I, I seem to remember there's a dude, if you get back in the bookshop, that wasn't there before. Yeah. Good day oh. again. How may I help you? Observe. I want to talk to this douche. Who's that douche? The fellow in the chair seems to want to be left alone. Great, I'll talk to him. <laughs> Good day, sir. Is there anything you can tell me about the land of the Green Isles? I'm sorry. <laughs> oh my God! No Jesus! Whoa! I'm too worried about the princess. Too worried. He sounds like someone. He sounds like Snaggletooth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exit stage right. <laughs> Hold on, let me show him this. Get him, get him all royally impressed. Determined to learn more about the strange man's relationship with the princess, Alexander shows the man his insignia ring and formally introduces himself. I'm sorry to insist, but my name is Alexander of Daventry and... I could have you killed. I appreciate the offer of the ring, Alexander, but I'm afraid I'm already spoken. <laughs> Daventry? Where have I heard of Daventry? Flying flip mice. You must be Prince Alexander. Cosima told what me about I just you when she arrived. Said? <sighs> How came you here? How did you come to that conclusion? Why, oh, by, by listening. A ship now Good job. Upon the sand. But you know Cosima? She truly spoke of me. Yes, yes, I, I saw her briefly when she first returned home. She mentioned a prince to me, a Prince Alexander of Daventry. I'm afraid that was before she was told about... Oh, oh my see, God. Right. Okay, what you know what? We're, we're, we're going <laughs> to skip this. I, as oh, riveting as it is. Mm. About her grief over her parents, you mean? Well, the truth... Blah, 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 blah. blah. Okay. Wish yeah! So her parents died, yada, yada. She's upset. She He used to work for her. Yeah, uh, yada, 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 yada. Whatever. All right, let me just make sure he didn't leave anything. Alexander rests his feet for a <laughs> and farts into the, the chair. Alexander smells of farts. 
That was refreshing. Well, that was refreshing. Okay, let's get out of here. <laughs> yeah, let's get out. I should. I, I let's should. Let's exit stage left. I should never have come back. No. Ah, <laughs> Look at him shake his boot. See you later. <laughs> it's such a silly walk. Okay. Let's, let's what about the guy selling Pikmin? What's his deal? I don't. I. I feel like I. You're, I'm not supposed to talk to him until later. Okay. Why? I can't. I just remember that. Old lamps <gasps> for new. Oh, Old lamps. lamps for new. Oh yeah, he's a lamp trader, but I don't have a lamp yet. That's what it is. Pawn shop. Let's go in here. Oh my god, that bear. bear. It's so fucking buff. Was that? A... It's the fucking dude again. Oh, I thought it was like a girl with a midriff. What's your deal? Because the belt kind of looks uh, like. Good day, sir. The old man just glares at Alexander and Ugh. does not reply. <laughs> Look at that bear. Like, yeah! yeah! I just hit the gym. I'm swole. Whatever. Check it out. Let's talk to this guy. There's a lot of talking up top at the yeah. beginning of this game. But we gotta find out what's going on. I like the skeleton button Excuse in the foreground. Me, Merchant, yeah. But the ferryman mentioned that you might have a magic map of the land of the Green Isles. It's called Why, a GPS. As a matter of fact, I do. <laughs> I keep it under the counter. It's been gathering dust so long that I nearly forgot about it. Look, it's Morpheus. Yeah. It was quite a few years ago, you see. The estate of a wealthy wizard fell into my hands when he died. I like his voice. It was useless magical junk mostly, which reminds me. I've still got some things of his in the back that I need to dump out. Maybe that's him. Anyway, yeah. the magic map was the one true treasure in the lot. The wizard was quite old and feeble and had enchanted the map to aid in traveling. And he kind of looked like the guy over there. Yeah. <laughs> one need that's only weird. desire to be on an island depicted on the map to find oneself there. It is a very valuable map, as you can imagine. Oh. Unfortunately, no one is interested in traveling these days. It is far too dangerous <laughs> with the current state of the kingdom. <laughs> Ross just almost <laughs> fainted from so much dialogue. I just talking. like looked back and had my mouth open like a turkey oh. looking out with rain. Yeah, I know. There's, like, oh. there's a lot of talking. I would be willing to take anything of equal value in exchange. Oh, okay. See what we got. Let's give him fucking give him the rabbit foot. He likes dead animals. Don't give me a ring. Let me try the rabbit's foot. The long. There we go. Would you be interested in making a trade for this merchant? Hmm, a rabbit's foot. I do not believe I could use that. Oh, for fuck's sake, you got dead animals everywhere and trinkets and shit. Well, that's what he's saying. He has too many dead animals. Okay, well, give him something that he might need, like uh, like a piece of paper. Which other right. Are you serious? It's the only nice thing we have. Would you be willing to take my family ring in exchange for the magic map? Daventry, are you a king then? No, that's my father, King Graham. I'm just Alexander. A princess. Well, Prince Alex, she is a beautiful ring. Are you sure you can part with such a unique family heirloom? The ring does mean a lot to me. I didn't always have a family, you know. Still, it is only gold. There are more important things at stake now. Yes. Like maps. Sweet Then you maps. now own a magic map, Prince Alex. Sweet, we got I the map. I will keep your ring out of sight for a few days. If you find anything else of great value in your travels, you can come back for your ring. I would hate to see it melted down for gold. Oh, good. Ah, and a warning about the map. It will only operate when you are out in the open and within sight of Operates. the Operates? Fuck a piece the of paper. It's magic, something though. To do oh, with so it's the GPS. Yes. Spell ingredients. You might try the beach. The beach. Thank you. <laughs> right near the beach. Hard. What if it's and like I'll boom? About the map. What if the map's like cursed and you thought it was Google Maps, but it's really Apple Maps? That's probably. And it's gonna take you off a cliff. Wait a second. Suddenly, the old man in the concealing cloak <gasps> sneaks past Alexander, oh, wow. and with a sneaky dart of his hand, steals Jesus a spot. mint from the candy jar. The old man stuffs the mint into his mouth and wobbles unsteadily out of the pawn shop. Oh. Thanks for narrating that. All right. <laughs> You can walk the walk, but can you talk the talk? Okay, Seconds goodbye. Seconds later, in the castle. Master! <laughs> Master! I followed Prince Alexander as you <laughs> wished. From the pawn shop owner, he just abstained. I just reprieved. <laughs> oh, that's right. He this guy gets drunk off mint for map. some reason. Mint. Like mints. 
Yep. Mints. Yeah, Lord I don't know why. Lord, I never understood that as a kid. You're eating those mints again. <laughs> I ordered you to stop that. How would you get Yes. <laughs> master. Sorry, friend. Yeah, master. No. You... Well, his his eyes sparkle. Yeah, because he's, he's got a gold eye. He was the With man in black. Prince Alexander could travel Now he's all fucked up on the mint. Quickly, uh, quickly as I can. You can't fucking just decide I'm drunk. You, know, you can't travel. just decide. You know my, my real dad. Oh I my can't God. have him stirring things up now. Get a hold of yourself and listen carefully, Shamir. Go to the other islands and tell them. Get your ass together. Okay. He's go so he's going to another island. He just got another assignment. Let's see what happens when we give him the coin. That's the only other useful thing we have. I have this copper coin. Is it of any value to you at all? Hmm, most interesting. I have never seen a Daventry coin before, but it is copper genuine enough. I might even find a buyer who is interested in foreign currency. The items on the front counter are the only things in the store that I can let go for the price of one copper. You may make your choice from there. Hmm. Yeah. Alexander looks at the items on the counter to make his selection. Dan, can I just point out that yes. in the left corner, you just do this, but in the in the left corner, uh -huh. it looks like a giant fucking batarang, like just broken into two. <laughs> yeah. like, what the fuck is it? It looks like... like Gargantuan Batman came to the stores like, do you need a giant battery ring? What did I do with this? Do you need a giant battery ring? I see you have noticed my mechanical nightingale. She is made Not of plain nightingale? tin, but she sings the sweetest song you can imagine. Barely distinguishable from the real thing. Oh. Let's take that. Is it, wait, is it a bird? Yeah, like a wind up nightingale. Oh. That mechanical nightingale looks intriguing. I believe I'll take it. Very well. Thanks, Your Peach. coin is well spent. Remember, this is a pawn shop. I am always willing to take back my own goods in trade. I'll remember. Thank you. Foreshadowing. Yeah, right? Okay. You know what? Let's grab a mint. You're gonna get drunk, though. Alexander takes a mint. Don't eat it, though. There you go. I won't, like, no look, one else gets drunk except I don't know what that. that thing in the corner is. It does look like a giant batarang. A strange-looking winged device occupies one corner of the room. It is frail with disuse. Alexander finds it intriguing. Perhaps oh. he thinks it was once used in a local sporting event, in which enthusiasts jumped from cliffs, glided on air currents, and then attempted to land, frequently crunching a bone or two in the process. Crunching a boner? <laughs> That's what I thought Alexander he said, too. Alexander shudders at the thought and decides to stick to dragon slaying. <laughs> All right. Seems easy enough. Dragon slaying? What, when does he slay a dragon? Oh, he did it in King's Quest 3. Oh. Uh, yeah. Now he's just slaying ladies. Oh, oh damn. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> no. Mm -hmm. <laughs> next, next time on Steve Trade. Oh, there's the girl. Wait. Not next time. Just yet. Oh. All right. Next time. We'll Next, time. To her. Next time. Next okay. time. Ah, Sierra. Woo. Yeah. I love Sierra. Dan, how much do you love Sierra? <laughs> like. Fucking. Like so much. When I ask you a question, I expect you to <laughs> fucking answer me, <laughs> bitch. Anywho, uh, Ross and I wanted to say thank you because this has been an amazing experience being on the channel for this past year. And we love you very much. We love you, Aaron. Thanks. Yeah. I love you guys, too. Yay. Thank you for watching for two years. How crazy is that? Fuck. Fuck. That's my hat. Anyway, you seem to an intro, too. It's my hat. Now no one gets the hat. Everyone gets the hat. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that, that one probably worked.
actually fake cried for that, and it Did worked. You? Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, wow. Well done. <laughs>